Welcome back to another episode in the NFL Rejects franchise, the franchise where we're only allowed to sign players age 30 or older at a regular season free agency. We're not allowed to trade, we're not allowed to draft. Facing Jordan Love today and the Green Bay Packers in our final regular season game. This is a make or break game, by the way. If we win this game, we make it into the wildcard round. If we don't win this game, then this is the end of the season for the Bisons. Next week, or next week, <laughs> uh, next season we will not be called the Bisons. We will be changing uh, to another team again. We're going to be staying in Salt Lake City, kind of like the surroundings there. But I am thinking about which other team I will be picking. Um, I do have a few ideas. Um, I would like to change it up uh, color-wise a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to be just going to be looking at options right there. I do have a few in mind. Um, color green comes to mind. Of course, a nice blue comes to mind. Blue, yellow. We've got that already, but more with an orange tint. But uh, all that is in the future. For now, let's focus on this final game here. Let's try and sell ourselves. Well, let's try and make it into the playoffs. That is the thing that's most important to me. Hayden Hurst is super dead, man. Jacoby Brissett, I don't know what that was, but that throw was horrible. We're going to go with an inside zone. We're facing a fully stacked defense here. Uh, the Packers, as always, extremely solid, um, just waiting to get to grips with us. Uh, but here we go. Jarek McKinnon, how far can we escape? Oh, and this looks... All right. I was about to say this looks extremely good when it was taken down from the side. But it's still, it's a fantastic run here. Jairo Alexander with the tackle coming in from the side. Super important. Super important. That would have been it, man. But we actually evade number 31, then going the other way. Number 26 can't catch up. But Jairo Alexander coming in extremely hot here. And uh, yeah, that was that. Raheem Mostert, a halfback dive. I think we're going to have to rest up a few players here. Um, we've had a horrible schedule. And we have really been struggling a lot. Just getting getting uh, yardage done, getting players fit. Now, uh, this is the first game where almost all players are back in, uh, in the game again. Uh, speaking about all my wide receivers, speaking uh, of um, offensive players. Of course, uh, Britt is not in the game. That is uh, my second center. And he actually is injured out for four weeks. And Nelson Aguilar going forward to the three-yard line. Good connection here. Jacoby Brissett, again, I have to say, he has really been very good. And Ryan Tannehill, as much as I don't like him as a Titans quarterback, he has been very good here. He's really done extremely well. They're stacking up here. They are stacking up. Do I hit him with a slide? Is that realistic? Let's try this one here. Play action, fullback, slide. Oh, Mo man. You were free. You were free. That would have been a very nice opening touchdown here in this game where this bunch of rejects just wanted to show the league that they are still viable. Off we go. Very nice. CJ Uzoma stepping in, turning in. Cool. Very well done. And as you can see, they've still got some game in them. Actually, not that horrible. Not that horrible. I mean, it's not guaranteed that we get the uh, wildcard round, though. We can still, uh, you know, there, there, there can still be other teams that are just more prolific than we are. Jarek McKinnon running straight into Quay Walker, number seven. Of course, we're not going to get past him. Not with a little dude. Here we go. Mac Hollins is my target man. Moali Cox, sort of a safety valve. Nice. I really like Mac Hollins. 73 rated. I'm going to put this out there. This is a player that would never ever get a shot in any of my teams. I wouldn't even dream of signing him. Why would I? 73. Pretty old. It's not going to get any better. 
So why would I go with him? Well, the answer is quite simple. Because I don't have a choice here. Plus, he still has quite some uh, some uh, quality in him. As pressure comes in, Jacoby Brissett just has to get rid of the ball pretty quickly. All right, do we see a glaring weakness here? Actually, not really. Still gonna try this one here. I don't know what that was, apart from a drop. Because as usual, when it starts to count, we mess up. And Jared Alexander is in full effect here. Moali Cox, CG Yazoma. Those are my players. And here we go. Number 28 comes around the side. That's Kalen Bullock. A rookie from last year's draft. And we're fourth and 20. Quick sack here. Very decisive. I saw him coming. Johnny Hecker will have to punt this one away here. Wind is coming towards the right hand side, so I'm gonna go that way. Just wanna get the ball out of bounds. Ah, Kyle Fuller can't untangle here. Good hit by Harmon. Come on, defense. Mm, not happening. Nope. Not a second time. All right. Pedro's halfback screen. What I do love about this franchise is that I just don't know what this team will be looking like next season. And I'm not speaking st uh, strictly the jerseys, but how, what will the team be shaping up like? Will it have a good offense? Will it have a good defense? This year we had a very good defense. I really have to say so. It's, it's just, it's been carrying us a lot of the time. Play action shot wheel. 45 quick base ball is off and we step over the line two minute warning hits us mesh switch next Mac Hollins they've just given us a chance to stay in games against teams that were way better than we were and I mean I think it says it all when Jesus Christ man Jared Alexander just probably shouldn't be throwing in his direction right uh, there were teams where I was really pissed that we lost now and um in truth oh. in truth we should just been happy not to get slaughtered out there but that was not the case stereo curl scene let's go robbie chosen is the intended receiver of course but i will be looking for any other player that's free and that is a beauty, man. Mo Ali Cox has really been stepping up so much in these past few games. Just really shown what he can do. 1 minute 28 in this second quarter. Nelson Aguilar will be the player I will be looking for. Unless, unless Mo Ali Cox does get free. There we go. Beautifully done. And stopped here at the 19. 1 minute and 16 seconds. Still on the clock. Time ticking down, of course. Clock keeps rolling down. But we are in a good field position, at least to get a field goal. CG Uzoma or Mo Ali Cox, two tight ends that are getting caught up in each other. And that is absolute stupidity again. But yeah, whatever. Lucas Vaness was there. 2023 rookie. Mo Ali Cox has a nice out route. I do like that. I'm going to take the flanker spot here. Wow! What a gigantic hit that was. Jesus Christ. Third and two at the 12 yard line. A mesh switch now. Let's go. Left, right, Ali Cox and Chosen. Two players that I actually do trust. Chosen a little bit more. There we go. At the four yard line, and I'm gonna call the first time out now. 14 seconds to go. I feel like this is a good point in time to attempt something here. Let's go with the Z spot. We can go with the Zoma as well, maybe McKinnon. Coverage will be extremely good. Yeah, incomplete 11 seconds on the clock. Yeah, well. 
that did not really look that convincing. I'm going to try this one here. Yuzoma, Ali Cox chosen again. Jesus Christ. Now, number 28, Bullock again interfering here. So let's try another one. I do think that we have to go for uh, for a pass play here. Uh, let's try this. Robbie Chosen. Coming in there. <laughs> Slapped away. 8 out of 18 today. Incomplete. We're gonna take a field goal. It is super close and I have the shortest kicking arc ever. Wind is coming from the front towards the right. But Graham Godot has no problems. No problems whatsoever. Here we go. Let's continue. All right. Two minutes 46 we get the ball in the third quarter 10 and 7 so currently we could be saying that we are on course for uh for winning this game unless we completely mess it up are you serious mo you did the hard part and then the easy part you completely bungled that one chosen and holland my targets here Nice. Stretching, pushing in. And again, six foot four dude. Just really laying on the pressure. Darnell Savage getting the tackles. Go, 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 go. Oh man, Devondre Campbell pushing it back. And an injury for Raheem Mostert in the last game of the season. Fourth and one. So, what do we do now? Do we punt at our own 29? Do we try and break through? I'm gonna tell you something. I know, I know, I probably am gonna regret this one here. But we're gonna risk it. There we go. There we go, we get a first down. Up to the 37 yard line. This is good. This is very good. All right. What do we do next? Let's go with the Patriots drag. Coming from the left hand side. Chosen is the chosen one. I was waiting all season to put this one out there. All right. Did you see that? Just he gets the ball and then just tucks it so quickly. Has it under control and then and then he's just he's just away. Right, let's go here. Again. We're going to try this one again. He's going to go towards the left. Straight ahead and then left. Ah, oh, that was even tipped into the direction of his. Rasul Douglas. With a nice, nice interference here. Halfback power is certainly not what I want to do here. I think a quick base should do the trick. It's uh, four yards. Want to get the clock rolling again. Third and four. Devonta Campbell. I need a block. I need a block here. Somebody help. Fourth and one. And again, we're going to go for it. I will certainly not be punting. I think punting right now would be the worst thing to do. We've got... I'm not going to say we have momentum on our side, but we are somewhat moving in the right direction. Push, 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 and we're going to be held. Jesus Christ, Lucas Van Ness coming around the side. We're going to be denied. I hate that screen. It was a push in the back, by the way. That pushed him off balance. just, And then I couldn't get him on balance again, and then he was just held... Come on, defense. And it's 10 versus 10. All right, that, that at least isn't, uh, isn't that horrible. So we're still kind of in this, even if home team has improved blocking, home team has improved catching. Uh, those are nasty debuffs, but I'd rather have those than uh, 
suffer those uh, ones that kind of do squiggly art and just mess up uh, your screen. The pass was good, but the interference was better. Let's go to the slant stick here. Agalor chosen. One of you dudes should be able to get free. <laughs> Devondra Campbell just sticks out his arm. Ah. Uh, problem. This is a problem. We're, at, we're just running into issues here. Nice. And who else? Who else but Robbie Chosen is the guy to go for this one here as Devondra Campbell has to hobble off injured. Patriots halfback screen gonna go right. Jarek McKinnon, Raheem Mostert again injured. I kind of feel like we would have had we would have had a better season if it weren't for all those injuries. I mean it's a little bit of a no-brainer right there. But for the most part, I think it was just we never were able to play to our full potential, so that was kind of an issue. Putting Agalor on a slant here. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, seriously, man. I was just singing your praises. He was there. He was in the right spot. And then uh, he can't hold on to it. That was bad. Mo Ali Cox, nice. 313 in the fourth quarter. Time is running down. A field goal would be enough. I'm just gonna put that out there. It's not like I wanna go for a field goal, but it is gonna be enough for us. Deep Z curl. Come on. Robbie chosen out. Agalor in. Just going forward here, Gabe Jackson, number 66. Some more resilience on my player's part would be fantastic. Left hand side, Jarek McKinnon, second and two. Should get this one here. Yeah, there we go. We can adjust at the stiff arm it here. 62 yards, seven rushes. We're working hard. We're really working this hard against a very solid team. Luckily our defense again, putting it on them that we're still in the game. Fantastic stuff. Two minute warning at the six yard line. All right, let's just get a touchdown. Maybe our defense can do us a solid again and just limit them or stop them or something like that. And that should be enough. That should really be enough. Speaking of enough, looking forward to trying out a new uniform. I like this uniform a lot. It really looks fantastic. So many nice details on it. But again, I am looking forward to trying something else here. Let's go like this. Melvin Gordon through and he's kind of pushed into the end zone there from the Green Bay Packers. And we're in. Melvin Gordon, well done. Kind of came out of nowhere, but okay. And now it's our defense. Melvin Gordon going straight and then kind of bumped around there. <laughs> then tackled inside. Kind of bumped in the right direction by Lucas Van Ness, number 90. Come on, defense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Things stay uh, exciting. Good for the spectators. Really bad for my heart rate. Off we go. Hard hit in the back by number two. One minute 14. I certainly want to avoid going into overtime. I really want to avoid that. All right, that was good. We're going to use our first time now. At the 49 second mark, we're 44 yards out. That was good. Let's go with this one here. The left-hand side looks 
very open. Let's try this one here. Can we get Mo Ali Cox over there? All right, there we go. And that's an injury timeout for Mo Ali Cox. Come on, man. That is not great. That is not good. Let's go with an inside zone weak left hand side here. Sherrick McKinnon. Off we go. Can we escape? And if yes, how far? High ankle sprain. All right, he's not coming back. 83 seconds. Ah, 38 seconds. Second and two. They're starting to use up timeouts now. Take it down here, Quay Walker. Puna Ford with an injury. They actually don't have to use the timeouts. But they are. All right, inside zone weak. Left hand side. Jarek McKinnon. Try to push forward here. To be fair, I'm just... Just gonna go with another run here. Maybe we could force him to take the timeout. I don't really want to be iced on the kick. They're not ta taking it. Hmm. Alright. Well, 10 yards out. What is that going to be? 15? 20 yard field goal? 27. Pretty far back. But it's just straight ahead basically. And now we're going to be iced. Yeah, thank you for nothing. Thank you for nothing. They didn't really feel the need to take the timeout before. Weren't piling up pressure enough. So, let's go here. 27 yard field goal. Graham Gano. It's up to you now. There we go. Was it perfect? No. But it's between the sticks. And it's going to be 20 versus 17. We're going to drag momentum to our side. And Graham Gano is going to decide this game with his kick. We're going to win it on the road. We're going to end the season 8-8-1. Eight, eight, and one, Which means our season has been more successful than last season. whoop de doo Next season, I don't want to have those long losing streaks though. Because those just are painful. Can't really get used to those. Quick players that time. Julian Love. And Julian Love. Jordan Love doing way better. 146 yards, 80% completion rate, one touchdown. Jacob Brissett had to try way harder, but got 245 yards. 51% completion rate. Again, Jarek McKinnon, so important. Even more important than Raheem Mostert is what I would say. Uh, Melvin Gordon got in there, got the touchdown. Richard Jennings for uh, the Packers. Mo Ali Cox sadly out injured. Two drops. Nelson Aguilar, Robbie Chose, and Romeo Daubs. And uh, CJ Yazoma with that touchdown in the first half. Five solo tackles. Jerry Kears. Total tackles. Kalen Bullock. Preston Smith tackles for loss. Two. Dante Fowler. Two tackles for loss. Quarterback sacks. We got two. They got one. Jordan Hicks and Sheldon Rankins. Kalen Bullock getting one. Zero interceptions today. On the kicking side, Graham Cano 100% complete, and he was the one to decide this. Funny, Robbie Gould now with the Packers. I think he's just following us. He's on a on a revenge mission or something like that. But yeah, whatever. We win the game. Well done, team. All right. At the end of the uh, week 18 game, 20 and 17, we we end the season on a high at least. All right. Let's let's see the positives here. One new injury that is Mostert out for seven weeks. Donovan Smith one week and Justin Britt will be missing three weeks. So if we actually break into the uh, if we actually break into the uh, playoffs now, uh, Raheem Mostert will not be playing a role here, and that is why I will be placing him on injured reserve immediately uh, because he's out for so long he can't help us anymore. Uh, Justin Britt might return in time for the Super Bowl if we're going to be super optimistic. Uh, but yeah, uh, either way, we're going to see next episode. I'm going to be checking that out with you, uh, alongside you, um, if we're going to be playing in the wildcard or not. I enjoyed today's game. It was one of those tough ones again where we just had to overcome a really good opposition. We finished second in the AFC South, so we might even have punched into the playoffs. But we're going to see next week, as I said. I enjoyed today's game and I really hope you did as well. Hope you are enjoying this franchise series as much as I am. If you are, just drop a like, drop a subscription or drop a comment down below. Always interested to see what you guys think. And as always, thank you so much for being here. 
See you next time.